All right, here you go. Fish and grits. A little bit of cheddar in the grits. There's the fish. Hey everybody, thanks for coming to my channel. I'm, this is Cooking and Grilling with Carl. This is my son Carl Jr. I'm Carl. And in this video, he requested that I make fish and grits for dinner tonight. So I'm going to be making it for my son as well as showing y'all how I, how I do it. All right, so stay tuned for that. Here we go with the ingredients for the fish and grits. All right, so right here I have some whitings, okay? Some whiting uh, fillets, boneless. Right here I have flour, some cornmeal, some black pepper, some Old Bay seasoning, some salt, some Goya Sasson, some canola oil for the grits. There's the grits, obviously. Some sharp uh, white cheddar. Some whole milk. Some chicken broth. Some butter. And I'm also gonna be using um, salt and pepper in the grits as well, all right? So that's pretty much everything that I'm gonna be using to make the um, fish and grits, okay? Let's get to it. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do Make sure I get rid of the little bit of liquid that's in here. Just gonna go in with my um, my seasoning packet. Some people don't, you know, season the fish, but you season the fish as well, and not just the flour. All right, so that's good. Set that to the side. Now I'm gonna get my bowl and get ready to do my own. Um, my flour dredge, flour and cornmeal dredge, I mean. All right, I'm doing about half and half. Might be a little bit more, but that's all right. Now I'm going in with my um, seasoning. About a tablespoon of salt. ran out of pepper, so. Just gonna substitute with some white pepper. And my Obey. All right. Get this all mixed up. do is I'm gonna go in with my fish. Get all the fish nice and coated. If you don't have a bowl, the other thing you can do is you can use a, you, know, you can use a bag or whatever, you know. But that's how my grandmother, and my mother used to do it. They used to um, put the flour, the cornmeal, and the seasoning in the old grocery bag. Throw the seasonings in there, dump the fish in there, you know, and just shake the whole thing up. Not too sanitary though, but we live. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna do, the next time you see me, I'm gonna be frying the fish, all right? Okay, y'all, my grease is already hot. Using my cast iron pan, which is my favorite pan for frying. This actually is my favorite pan for everything, but anyway, about to go in with the first piece. Put it in, go away from you. That way if, it's, if you just drop it in or bring it towards you, you don't have to worry about it splashing towards you. I typically go skin side down first.
So you want to make sure your grease is hot enough where as soon as the fish hits the oil, it's already frying good, all right? Yeah, so I'm going to do this in two batches because I don't want to overcrowd the pan. until I finish my grits. All right. So the, so the first thing I'm gonna do, go in with my chicken broth. So I'm gonna let that come to a boil, and then um, I'll add my milk, my butter. I'll probably add a little bit of water to it as well. So what I'm gonna do right now is, um, I'm not gonna record it coming to a boil, but basically uh, once it comes to a boil, then I'll finish adding the ingredients. All right, so the chicken broth is boiling. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going with my grits. Got a stir. Do a little bit more. Probably gonna go with, probably have to say about two cups. Like I said, the measurements will be in the description below. And um, I'm using uh, instant grits. Instant grits? No self respecting southerner uses instant grits. I take pride in my grits. All right, so some milk, about a cup and a half. Some white pepper. Some salt. And I'm going in with uh, three tablespoons of butter. Have my heat turned up high and I'm um, just gonna let this cook down until it starts uh, reducing and thickening it up. It shouldn't take too long. It's a little loose, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more grits. All right, starting to thick up, thicken up. All right, so it's right at that point where now I add about a uh, About a cup of uh, the shredded cheddar, the white cheddar. All right, I'm gonna turn my heat down. And now it's getting to the point, it's just about there. So I have it on low heat. You know, <laughs> last thing you want is some hot grits uh, boiling and popping on you. So I turn the heat down because if you keep the heat high, it's gonna, it's gonna kind of bubble up. And um, that could be very painful. 
give it a taste. Right now it's pretty good, so I'm trying to add a little bit more butter to it. I went in with about three more tablespoons, so. I mean, this is it. This isn't a healthy dish, so, you know, fried fish, grits with cheese and butter, so I don't want nobody to feel like, oh, he's adding too much butter, but, you know, if you're gonna make something like this, you might as well make it right. Here, you're gonna continue to uh, get a little bit thicker. All right, so that's what you're looking for. I mean, it's all preference. I mean, some people like them runny, and, you know, they add sugar to it and all that stuff. Me, I like mine savory, kind of thick. All right. Let me get my fish out. And I'm getting ready to plate one up for you. All right, here you go. Fish and grits. A little bit of cheddar in the grits. There's the fish. Cooking and grilling with Carl. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, and share the video. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. God bless. You.